So I am on the hunt again. I am actually sitting out in front of one of my local comic shops about to head inside. They have some kind of sale, might be an anniversary sale that's actually going on. I'm not quite sure what the discounts are or any of that other kind of stuff, but we're gonna head inside, see what we can see. Uh, at a minimum, I'm gonna be picking up some of the books that are on my pull list. It's probably been two weeks since I've been here. So we're gonna head inside, see what we can see, and uh, maybe pick up some cool stuff. We'll see you know, what they have in stock and we'll see what I actually need versus what I want. <laughs> and we'll, we'll kind of take it from there. Uh, today has been an interesting day. My wife actually had to take uh, an exam online earlier today because she's taken uh, a couple of classes. So I had the kids all morning. I immediately had to leave the house to run over to San Mateo to pick up a, a dress shirt because I'm going out of town. And uh, I, I parked in this parking lot and the, the parking lot uh, meter only took cash and I never really carried cash. I ran back to my car. I think I had like two quarters and like a nickel and a dime. So I, I go back to the machine. I shove that in there. The thing gives me like three minutes. <laughs> so I, I tear out of there, run to Jose Banks. I walk in, I, I tell the guy, I need this size shirt, where are they? We go from the front counter to where the shirts are, back to the counter, I pay and I am back at my car probably in five minutes. <laughs> so it was a, uh, it was, uh, a, a quite an interesting uh, shopping experience and I had to tell the guy as I was waiting for my credit card or my debit card to go, to go through, I said to him, I apologize that I'm in a rush. I literally had two quarters, a nickel and a dime for the meter and it only took cash. And so he just kind of chuckled to himself. So uh, anyway, that's what I was doing earlier. Now I am in the car about to head into the uh, comic shop here and I'm going to take you guys along for the journey. So I am back in the comic book room and ready to show you guys some of the books that I picked up earlier today. And in all honesty, I didn't pick up a whole lot. Uh, I was in a little bit of a rush today, so I did not have a chance to really shop. The, the shop, the LCS was a little crowded, so I spent most of my time in the shop actually talking to the owner, Juan, about various things because we haven't seen each other in a couple of weeks because he was traveling and then I was traveling. Uh, so it was, a, it was a, really an opportunity for us to kind of catch up with one another. So because I'm a little light on my haul for this particular video, I'm actually going to unbox an AOK -okay that actually was sent to me by someone. Uh, there wasn't a note in it and there is a, a name on the box that I'm unable to read. There is a J and there's a W in it. <laughs> I actually did a, I ripped the box up so that I could set it with the comics so that I would remember who they actually came from. Unfortunately, I actually cannot remember or read it. Uh, but if it were you, thank you. Thank you in advance for whatever it is, is that is actually in this box. So I'm actually gonna get to that in just a second, uh, but I wanna show you the books that I picked up earlier. And then I also wanna show you a gift that was given to me by my LCS owner today. So again, haven't really seen him. And I also, I guess I've been to the shop, but I somehow didn't get this book or maybe I was there right before this book dropped. This is Powers of X. So I've already read this. I think I already have like a copy or two of it, but now I have another. Uh, he also had for me The Amazing Spider-Man number 31. Is this a variant cover? No, that's a regular cover. I am a fan of, uh, of Ryan Otley. I'm a fan of that guy's art. There is Marvel Zombies Resurrection. I've actually heard really good things about this series and I'm looking forward to reading this one. This one I think is gonna be cool. You guys know I like vampires and zombies, so I'm looking forward to reading that. Then there is also uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 32 in there, some amazing uh, Mary Jane variant. Cool book, cool cover I should say. I don't know about the book. And then the very last one here is Immortal Hulk number 25. So, uh, But as I mentioned, I was in the shop, hanging out with the shop owner, having a conversation, and he offered me uh, this right here. It is actually a signed poster from Kenneth Refort, 
Rufort, I think that's how you say it, R-O-O-A-F-O-R-T. This is uh, a signed copy. There were, He signed 350 of them, and this is number 294. This thing is really cool. It's a nice Batman uh, uh, print here. So definitely dig that. Going to drop this one into the uh, portfolio behind me. But uh, a lot of talented people out there in this world. This one's really cool. So shout out to uh, the comic shop owner. Shout out to, uh, to Kenneth for some fantastic art. All right. So as I mentioned, this was sent to me. I cannot read the writing that is on here. There is a J and possibly an L or a W. I'm not certain. So, uh, but there were, I actually unboxed it already. There's two stacks of books in here. Uh, the first stack says, please open first. So we are going to honor that and actually open this one up first. A little bit of uh, some tape on that. So we're actually going to open it up and see what's inside. snag it on anything. <laughs> That's cool. That is cool. It is a recreation of Amazing Spider-Man 110, the first appearance of Marvel's newest superstar, that being the given. That is cool. And there's a note inside on a backing board. Uh, let me see. I, I the, Reggie, Dropping this book of or this box of goodies because the retracing of ASM 110, the idea has been in my head for a while. Hope you enjoy it. If you don't have any of the ASM, hope they will finish your run. If you do, hopefully someone in the community needs them. When I saw the uh, Pinocchio Vampire Slayer had to send it along. It's not a Twilight. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I don't want to read the rest of this because I don't know. Oh, it is Joe. Joe. Thank you. Yamaha Joe. There we go. Yamaha Joe. That's what that is. So there is a J and I still don't know whether that's an L or W, but Yamaha Joe. <laughs> Thank you, brother. He says, proud member of the Gibby gang. And then at the bottom, he says, sorry for the messy hand. Right? <laughs> this is cool. That is cool right there. Uh, that is going to go in the portfolio off in the corner. That is really cool. And this letter, I save all these letters. I actually have a red folder right over there that I saved this in. So after I finish reading it, it's actually going to go right there. But uh, Yamaha Joe, thank you, brother. Your handwriting atrocious, but you are a very, very um, generous individual. And again, I don't even know what's inside, but I definitely appreciate it already. So he has some tape on here. We're going to try to peel this tape off and then see what he has sent over to me and possibly to one of you in this brick. I've never seen that book before. That's cool. Let's see if we can get the rest of this tape off. Bear with me as we do it. All right. Got that off. Cool. So this one is the question. Oh, this is... Um, is this uh, the question? Is th This is the character, I think, that is based off of Mr. A that Steve Ditko did, I believe, if my, my DC history is correct. But this is the question number six. I have never read this. I've never even seen these covers before. Here is number five. Pretty cool. I'm actually, I, I am looking forward to reading this. Here is number seven. That's a cool cover right there. That's cool. Nice red cover. I dig that. Here is number four. Another red cover. These are cool. Number two. And then number three. That's cool. And then what is this? I don't know what this is. Is it a mini comic? It looks like a miniature comic book. It is. I'm going to take this out of the plastic so we can get a good look at this one. This is. I, I like this obscure stuff. When I'm like, what is this? It's it's Pit. Prom Hero Premier Edition 10. It's a miniature Pit comic. Create, you know, Pit number three created by Dale Keown. Love some Dale Keown. Look at this spread. Look at this. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, black and white 
that is really really cool i uh, i am a fan of the pit this thing is cool oh it's an is it an ash can maybe that's what it is i i have another one of these that someone else gave me i think it was I think it might have been Tina that gave me one of these. Maybe th this is another one of those. Very, very cool. Let me put it back in this plastic here. I actually have a, uh, a small bin at my ankle here where I kind of keep some of this stuff that's not a normal size comic so it never gets lost, but I put it down there. So we have one more one more thing that Yamaha Joe sent over to us. I'm going to rip through the, uh, the cellophane here so that we can get to what is inside. Peel this away. And he's got a little bit of tape on here, so bear with me as I peel that away. See what's inside. And uh, I think these DC guys are trying to entice me to read more DC. <laughs> but there is some DC that is really cool, so I definitely appreciate it. I picked up uh, from someone the Red Sun recently, so I'm definitely looking forward to reading that. Uh, the Vampire Slayer. That's cool. Pinocchio the Vampire Slayer versus the Vampire Zoo. That is crazy. That's cool. That's cool. That's a playful book. That's a playful book. Oh, this one's cool. What is this? Marvel Team Up, Spider-Man and the Human Torch against the Speed Demon. That's cool. Actually, I think I have the first appearance of the Speed Demon in, uh, in ASM. That's cool. Here is another Marvel. I don't have very many Marvel Team Ups, so this is awesome. Marvel Team Up 122. What was this last one? This one was 121. So 121. And then he also sent 122. I do not have a lot of those. Here is Amazing Spider-Man 617. Little Rhino action right there. I think that's Rhino. I'm guessing that's Rhino kind of busting through there. What else did he send? Oh, this is cool. This actually might be nicer than my copy. Might be nicer. This is Amazing Spider-Man 388. Little uh, shiny foil-like cover right there. Very cool. And then the last one is Amazing Spider-Man number 801. Very, very cool. Yamaha Joe, thank you, brother. I definitely appreciate it. It's a couple of really cool things in there, so I definitely appreciate that. And the stuff that I won't keep will find its way back to another member of the comic book community in some way, shape, or form. So none of this stuff is going to go to waste. All right, with that, I'm going to wrap this video up. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, I want to encourage you to hit the thumbs up. Tell a friend. Tell a friend about what we do over here at Reggie Collects. And if you need to reach out to me, feel free to do so at Reggie Collects on Instagram or ReggieCollects at gmail.com. Take care.